We came here at the start and it was a 10 foot by 10 foot block of snow that was 20 feet tall. This is 25 tons of snow. The first day we moved about two tons of it. The first step is to kind of shave off any excess from the corners and then we start to rough out from the top down the head where the arms are going to be and you can see behind me that uh, it's come quite a long way since it's been a square. We are more of the freeform variety where we knew kind of what the bears were supposed to be. Cut the corners, shave the head. We've got various amounts of tools like uh, ice auger for uh, ice fishing. We use that to create some of the negative space you see in between the bears. We use a, uh, about a 30 foot long piece of barbed wire with handles on either end. Here's one of our special tools. It's a handmade saw. We have some uh, old military trench shovels too. They all have razor sharp edges. The shovels are more of rough cut stuff, gets rid of huge blocks of snow at once, kind of give you a form. But at this point, it's too dangerous to hit it hard because it's softer and we don't want to lose an arm. <laughs> the, wet, the weather really creates a problem. As the sun, it's, a, it's the biggest problem. This wall we left standing because we're so exposed to the sun. The wall started out a foot thick and now it's less than half of that. So that sun would have, that would have been our piece eroding. When it's slushy, really hard to get a nice clean sharp edge. When the snow is nice and cold, you can actually sand it with sandpaper and polish it like marble. So we hope that in the night the frost makes the sculpture a little bit harder. Germany down there always does an amazing job. They pull off gravity-defying feats. If the snow is strong, it has a, a lot of power. It, you can make really uh, crazy things. Here we have this, the sun, and it's, if it's too cold, you have uh, another problem. It's easier as we go, because now it's fine-tuned, finer detail, working it into you know, the finished product. It is hard, but it's a good kind of hard. <laughs> What's really fun about it is working on the monumental scale. To get a chance to work on something 12 feet tall, with uh, people from all around the world. It's just such a gas. You know, people come through and they're amazed at what we've been doing. If they take away that at the smallest faction, like, that was cool, then I'm happy.